Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Camry Mi PC with 128GB of ROM and a whopping 12GB of RAM. As a CPU we have the Intel Celeron J4205 built in here which is one of the fastest Celerons. So together with the 12 gigabytes of RAM, this can be a really interesting mini PC, probably one of the fastest Celeron mini PCs we have ever seen here. And it comes with everything what we need, like a Wi-Fi LAN, a lot of USB, HDMI output. So I'm going to uh, unbox this, showing you everything what we get and what we can do with it. I'm going to show you some browser testing, office testing, uh, even some gaming testing. And here is what we have. The model type is AK1. Obviously, it's black. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of ROM. It's a US version that's important regarding the plug. So here we have it, nicely protected. It's a beautiful small mini PC. I think it has really nice ventilation here on top. We can see all the ports here like the USB 2 times HDMI LAN, the audio and even a locking mechanism and even a card reader, that's really cool. And probably two times USB 3.0 and another USB. So plenty of outlets here. Looks really nice, comes with four soft rubber feet. So here we get the instructions manual and the power adapter and a full size HDMI cable. And it comes even with some mounting material if you want to mount it in the back of your TV. One really special and unique feature which we have is the extra hard disk part here, which is one separate part here in the back. So we can uh, release it here just with these two lock mechanisms. After that, we can just remove it from the main unit. So here's the hard disk connected. Uh, it looks like with USB-C and we can open this here with just two screws in the back. And when we open this, we can see there's plenty of space here for a 2.5 inch hard disk drive. That's really nice. So if you don't need that, probably you could even use it only like that because we have also here for soft rubber feet. We have the mounting hooks. We have everything. I think it's a very, very sophisticated construction. Really nice. I have everything hooked up and we have the mini PC here as you can see. Everything connected. We have the on off button here and most of the cables here on the side. My preference would have been here in the back, but it's just personal preference. Maybe it's even an advantage when you have it on the PC like that. So let's turn it on. See this nice blue light here and we get the image for the Windows setup right away. What I'm usually testing as well is to see if the PC has enough power to also power the screen because it's an external screen, it needs extra USB power and most of the mini PCs are not able to bring enough power to power as well the uh, screen but this is one of the only mini PCs which I have seen which is capable to power also an external screen this could be very important so you can see the whole power for the PC and for the screen is only coming through this power adapter. So let's set up window and then see after that. By the way, my recommendation is not to connect to a network during this setup. It's more safe when doing this later. Okay, this is just a couple of minutes later. Everything is done, was really straightforward. Absolutely no problem. Now it's time to connect to the internet network, Wi-Fi network. Okay, it's nicely connected and we can start to install and set up everything. What's important to do first is to do the Windows updates now. So we just click on check for updates. 
and would highly recommend to do all the updates now also security patches and everything this highly recommended and this can take a couple of hours so let the pc do all the upgrades in the background before you charge this speed because this definitely can slow down the whole speed of the pc for a couple of hours and only charge when everything all the updates and installations are finished but during this time you can easily do all the installation like ad additional browsers and office products and everything what you need as you can see everything is nicely updated to the latest versions all the security patches everything that's really important and so we are now ready to do a couple of tests so we are here on google chrome i have loaded seven tabs really large tabs just any random websites which i have found on google tech news so you can see the first tab we can scroll up and down really fast there are no lags and we can switch to the next tab which is even a very large one and you can see same thing and immediately go to the next tab and then go to the next tab and do same thing here and also here so we can go to all the tabs and have instant data available yeah here we have something uh, here that there is something going on in the background but that's the only exception here maybe they have been reloading something but apart from that you can see it's absolutely awesome how fast we can work on the browser and this is due to the large amount of ram which we have so this definitely pays off here and here a sample from 3d google maps here we are in paris Eiffel Tower you can see how fast we can move around this is definitely some nice desktop PC performance this doesn't look like a mini PC this is really nice what we see here we can move out and move in again really fast almost no lags and here we have a sample of a 4k video from YouTube it's another video from my channel you can see we can go up to 4k of course it has to reload this it has nothing to do with this pc and so we can play that now in 4k and you can see absolutely no lags as long as we are not doing anything full resolution 4k absolutely fantastic i've been watching now for about a minute or so and there were no lags absolutely nothing you can see the details here high resolution it's definitely 4k that's of course a rather simple 3d shooter but you can see how nice and smooth this is working here a lot of celeron pcs they are highly struggling with this here let's do the jump here from the top and also this works really good so we can shoot around a little bit so i try to avoid other uh, players uh, but you can see this is working pretty nice and smooth so let's also open an office text document first step second step and we are already ready to start typing that's pretty fast and let's also check for the available storage we can see out of 118 gigabytes which is pretty normal of course because of the binary system it never shows 128 we have used only 33.5 so a whopping 84.5 gigabytes is still free for additional apps programs and your data and here the system information as a confirmation we have a 64 bits windows installation here is the latest build intel pentium cpu j4205 and we have the 12 gigabytes of installed physical ram and of course the windows is a windows 10 pro edition and what's also really important to know that we have a very quiet mini pc here so 95 or 99 percent of the time it's absolutely quiet there's no fan to hear just from time to time there's a little bit of a fan noticeable but but you can barely hear it now it is running but there's almost nothing and also there's only very few warm air here in the front other than that there's absolutely nothing so you don't have to be worried about a loud fan spinning or so it's barely noticeable if you have it on top of desktop and when you have it underneath the desktop you won't hear anything at all 
So the overall performance is really good. It's definitely a desktop CPU. The J model of the 4000 Celeron is designed as a desktop and it works absolutely with desktop performance. It's not the very fastest uh, 4000J series, but it's definitely faster than all the 3000 series Celeron. So if you are looking for a very fast streaming device for your TV or a budget desktop PC replacement. I think this could be a very good option. I think it's a very good solid implementation of this CPU with a lot of RAM which gives it a decent speed so I can highly recommend it and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order drive from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time